Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will do some practice examples on Turing machine. In our previous class, we clearly discussed about how to construct a Turing machine. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's example. This is the language. Language L is equal to 0 power n, 1 power n, n greater than or equal to 0. We used this language many times in our previous classes when we discussed about context-free grammar. So we have to construct a Turing machine for this language. Uh, now sigma is equal to means input symbols are 0, 1 and tau tape symbols are along with input symbols we are having x, y. We are using uh, x, y in place of x, 0. We want to place x in place of 1. We want to place y and one extra blank symbol is there these are the symbols now coming to the logic how to construct the logic that is the point you have to understand in our last class we discussed that Turing machine starts from the start of the input take an example 0 0 0 1 1 1 so whenever you find 0 we place it as X for this 0 for this 0 we need to identify a 1 so we move forward and identify 1 for second zero, we need to identify one more one. For third zero, we need to identify one more one. That is what the logic is. Means for every zero, we need to identify a equivalent one. Then only we can say that for zeros followed by equal number of ones. So that is what we have to do. So whenever you find zero, place it as x, then move right side. We have to move right side until we find one. So whenever you find one, make it as y. Again, move back to the second zero. How you know that uh, uh, we have to stop at uh, second zero? Whenever you when you are moving back, whenever you find x in place of zero, we already placed it as x. So whenever you find x, stop it. Move right side. Then we will stop at a second zero. A again, this zero should be made it as x. So, in order to understand, we have write it as x. X means up to now we have made two zeros as x. That's why we have wrote it down. Down. For this zero, we have to find one more y. Means we have to move forward. If you find zero, third zero, move right. Here, y, move right. Second one yes stop it whenever you find one stop it means the logic here is whenever you are moving forward you can, you may find zeros you may find y's so what we have to do whenever we find zeros and y's move on move to the right side so where we have to stop when we are moving forward whenever you find one you have to stop the similarly when we are moving back we may find y's or we may find zeros just move left move backward until you find x that is what the logic is uh, that is how we move front and back front and back uh, and uh, convert these zeros into x and one y's into ones into y's that is how we do let's understand one more example you will have a better intuition better in conditions you have to understand the conditions uh, 0 0 1 1 1 is it accepted no we should not accept this why we should not accept this uh, two zeros followed by three ones See, whenever you find 0, equivalent 1 is there. Whenever you find second 0, equivalent 1 is there. But extra 1 is there. We have to check this condition also. So, whenever you converted this into x, you convert this into y's. Yes, it is okay. But still you have to check for extra 1's. If extra 1's are there, no tax. Don't accept. If extra 1's are not there, then only we have to accept this condition also we have to write in our turing machine now try to understand how we write the turing machine further so this is our turing machine we start at q naught whenever you find zero convert it into x and move right side we are going to q1 state so what's this logic of q1 state means we have to move forward we have to move forward until you find one so if you find zero keep it as 0 and move right. If you find y, keep it as y and move right. So we, we, q1 is used to find the logic to move forward. Whenever you find 1, make it as y and move left. Come back. So q2 is used to move back. q1 is used to move forward. q2 is used to move back. So whenever you find y, y, keep it as left. 
here we, we did not write the transition if you find 0 make it as 0 and keep left so this is missing here and uh, we are moving to q0 state again whenever you find x we keep it as x and move right side so that's what that's what uh, this loop uh, what it is doing it is converting 1 0 for, for that equivalent 0 we are finding 1 and converting it to y and again moving to the q0 state this is how we repeat once everything is over we did not find any zeros then you may find y's we have to check for the first one con last one condition if extra ones are there it should not be accepted for that condition for that condition we have written a separate logic here if you don't if you find zeros it keeps on looping like this if you don't find zeros you may find y's because if zeros and ones are over so zeros are converted into x ones are converted into y so whenever you are moving back and come to here you will find y if you keeps on whenever you find y go go to q3 state keeps on moving keeps on moving you have to find blank whenever you find blank make it as blank and right side going to halt state this is how we write the logic if you find extra one it is going to die it will it won't go to halt state so what's this halt state acceptance by halt state method this we discussed in our previous classes this is how we write the logic for 0 power n 1 power n hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you